Now that we're all using reusable shopping bags to reduce waste, we ought to consider the waste of the shopping bags themselves. These don't last forever, and once they break, they're just waste themselves. Well, one thing is that if we have a loose bottom like this, a flexible bottom, and we put cans in the bag, the cans are going to be heavy and sharp. They're going to cut through the bottom. If we carry only fresh fruits and vegetables, we have another problem with this loose bottom, and that is that it provides no form to hold the uh, groceries, and the bag collapses around them and squishes them together so that it's not a very good way to be carrying our, our groceries. Now some of these bags come with a bottom insert like this. It's a thin piece of plastic that fits the bottom, but if you look at this you would see that the corners are very sharp. So what's happening is we are subjecting the bag to a knife point. You can see that. This is a point, and it's going to quickly puncture the bag. You can modify this a little bit by putting rounded corners. All you have to do is cut the corners, and now instead of a knife point sticking into the bag, we have a knife edge sticking into the bag. What we really want is something that will give us a solid bottom and a rounded corner, but also we want rounding in the third dimension. We want it to be rounded in every place where it contacts the bag. Well, what does that mean? A big thick piece of plastic? Well, actually, we can make something ourselves, and it costs us nothing. We can make it out of cardboard. What we do is we take the same shape and we cut it into a piece of corrugated cardboard, but we cut at an angle. And that gives us this uh, third dimension rounding. We don't really have to round it. If it's just cut at a 45 degree angle, it will ser serve the same purpose as having it rounded. So I'm going to show you how we do that. The best way to do this is to have the thickest possible cardboard you've got so that we have the deepest uh, third dimension. But a thin piece of cardboard would be all right too. But it should be corrugated because we want some depth to it. That is our purpose. You can see whenever you have a piece of car corrugated cardboard, there's one way that it's going to be fairly stiff and another way that it's not going to be quite so strong. And I put that stiff dimension in the length dimension of the insert. All you do is, I'm taking one of the ones that I have, uh, it's a commercial insert, but I've modified it with the rounded corners, and that gives us a pretty good shape. When you do this, use a very sharp blade, because we're not just cutting straight through, but we're cutting at an angle, so that we are cutting through quite a bit of cardboard, and it, I would even recommend using a, a brand new blade for this, otherwise it's an awful lot of work. And you can see I'm holding the knife at a 45 degree angle while I cut that line. And obviously you don't have to be very accurate when you do this. Just don't cut yourself. Corner, same thing. Everything's cut at this 45 degree angle. Now normally you wouldn't do this up in the air like this, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, normally you should just put this on a table and hang the cardboard over the edge of the table to do this cutting. It's considerably easier to do it on a table than it is to try to hold it up in the air. So, that's it. Now you see what I've done here? is I provided this soft edge. It's okay that it's sloppy. We're not trying to win a beauty contest with this thing. And now we have the rounded third dimension that we wanted. And it just sits right in the bag. And now we have something that's not going to hurt the bag. Another nice thing about this is that we have a very stiff platform, which we really do want. You realize that these standard inserts are a compromise. 
if they were as stiff as that cardboard bottom, then they would cut through the bag almost immediately. They have to be this thin. They have to be flexible. Otherwise, this knife edge is going to just do too much damage. So what we have is a compromised platform. It's not as firm as it should be. The best platform for this bottom would be very stiff, uh, but then it would damage the bag. But with the cardboard, we have this quite stiff, firm bottom, but we also don't have a knife edge or a knife point to cut into the bag. So even if you have a good cloth bag that might not be damaged by the, uh, this kind of a, uh, an insert, this is still a better insert to use and, uh, because it will give you a, a much better, firmer bottom, which is what we really want. We don't want to have this bag become formless. We want it to hold this form. If you don't have one of these inserts that you think is the right fit for your bag, then you can make one yourself. In fact, some of these inserts are really the wrong size. They just simply made a mistake, I think, when, when they did them. Uh, the best way to uh, make the size is to uh, take your bag, flatten it out, and what you want is the width to go to the um, seams and same thing with your, your length here. And so I've made a little uh, cardboard template out of uh, this um, chipboard. And you see that what I've done here is I've made it go to the edge of the seam. The seam's rolled over, it's sewn here, and this is the edge of it. And so that's what I have for the, for the width in that dimension. And for uh, the length this way, you can just fold that bag over. Now, bags are constructed differently, so you might have to experiment, uh, but I have the, um, the length going to the same thing. It's going to the, the edge of the folded over material. And this I have found, at least with this bag, to be the uh, best dimensions. And if I compare that to the original um, insert, you can see that the original insert was uh, not wide enough, and uh, it was too long. This was just, the insert just wasn't very well designed in the first place. This makes a, a much better um, shape for this particular bag. And then I use that as the template and then cut out this cardboard. And you can see when I insert this into this particular bag that this is a very good fit in the bag.